we are going to look at the perceptions of indigenous women about obesity. <clears throat> the reason why the indigenous women is for the fact that the indigenous women are the people that have been there be before colonialization. And we want to find out about how do they perceive obesity. As an introduction, I would like to introduce you to my continent, Africa. Uh, as you can see, with all its colorful and rainbow colors of the, of the flags, I'm coming from South Africa, right at the bottom of the, of the continent. And then secondly, uh, South Africa, South, 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 South African map, with the nine provinces that we have. And then I am from the, the smallest uh, province, the, the Houghton province. The, the, that is where I, I am coming from. Although the study was actually undertaken under the Northern Cape, Western Cape, and Eastern Cape. This is the place where uh, our indigenous people are found in large numbers. The Northern Cape, the Western Cape, as well as the uh, as well as part of of the Eastern Cape. The pointer is dying. It, <clears throat> it's almost dead. Oh, it 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 comes on and off. This are. Uh, uh, this is one picture of the indigenous people of South Africa uh, who are found in the Kakalahari Desert. I would like each and, each and every one of you to take a look at the, the body structures that they had. The reason of their body structures was that they used to be the, the, wood, the wood gathers as well as the hunters. So they were really made to, to run. This is the where they are living. Uh, although currently the situation has improved a little bit uh, uh, after, after 1994, everybody else was actually t taken into, into, into account. These people were really m marginalized in, in our country and they lived in, play, in places like this. They were only uh, dependent on what Mother Nature can provide for, for them. They did, they did not have any influence about uh, uh, from colonialization. As a form of, of um, uh, de de definition, indigenous people are described as the first nations of, of the country where they are. They were present pre-colonial inv invasion and had a very strong re relationship with their, with their land. And here, in terms of where we, we talk about the strong rela re relationship, they were actually dependent mostly on, 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 on the food from the, the earth, and whatever they were actually doing was purely from the earth. And these people, especially in my country, they were forced into accepting the way other n nations around them lived. Because uh, in most cases, you would find that they used to wear the the, the skins of the animals, and now they they were forced and they were introduced into wearing the, the the trousers and the jackets. So their culture and knowledge, as well as as language, they were on the verge of extinction. Like for an example, in my country, it's only now that uh, our flag has got the language that it is written in this people's language and none of us can actually understand when they are speaking because they were actually forced to, to accept Africans as their own language and they were also forced to, to be identified as colors instead or the mixed races instead of being the Hrikwa people. As a form of, uh, of continuation, obesity, uh, as, as it has been said, is an excessive fat accumulation that may impair health. And uh, the body mass index is the simple index of weight for, for height that is commonly used to, cl to classify overweight and obesity, whereby uh, BMI of, of over 225 is overweight and the, the one over 30 is it's regarded as as obesity, and this applies for the same uh, sexes and ages. 
who the World Health Organization says 1.9 billion of people are overweight while 600 million are obese. 13% uh, worldwide adult are obese with the, with the women still taking the lead. Sorry, ladies, it's not that we are actually uh, against you, but that's the, that's the truth. And 39 world adults are overweight still, again, with, with women at, the, at, the, at, f at 40%. And again, World Health Organization claims that between 1980 and, and 2014, the, 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 the epidemic of, of obesity has, has actually doubled, and this is, be, is on, the, on the adults of over the age of 18 years. And an adult is anybody in this study who is over the age of 18. Then I took uh, a comparison of the, the weight on the BRICS countries. If you actually check uh, my country, South Africa, amongst the, the five BRICS countries, it's, it's actually the highest in terms of the, of the weight comparison. And the, and the source comes from the Ministry of Health in Brazil. So this actually shows that really and truly we are, we are, we are having a, a really serious problem in terms of obesity. <coughs> and this was taken from why I took the, the, the British country. It's because we have been comparing ourselves with other African countries and uh, I felt now that we, we belong to BRICS, I must actually do some, some comparison. And uh, India was the least uh, in terms of the weight. And uh, again, we also I looked at the females versus a, a, a male's population in the BRICS countries again. We found that South Africa has got the, the large numbers of, of, of females as compared to males, with the males at around 40% uh, and, the, and the females at, at over 60%. The aim of the study was eliciting the views of the indigenous women about obesity by exploring and, de and describing their perceptions about obesity and making a health awareness campaign regarding healthy living styles amongst indi indigenous people. The World Health Organization alludes that obesity is a, glo it's a, it's a global epidemic. The same organization claims that in the developing countries, claims that the developed countries are more affected than the, de the developing ones. However, the burden of obesity-related comorbidity conditions are more affecting the developing countries as compared to the developed countries. It was for this reason that the researcher would like to explore the perceptions of indigenous women with, with regard to obesity. As an approach, the qualitative methodology was used where face-to-face -face interviews were conducted and the desktop literature was also conducted. The setting was the small village uh, in South Africa where indigenous people are actually lo located. Ethical considerations were also taken into account because indigenous people in my country are regarded as the marginalized nation. So any study th that you are going to conduct amongst them, it has to, to be vigorously uh, uh, assessed. As for the findings, the study revealed uh, some few uh, uh, contradictions in terms of the, of the findings. With the obesity that was associated with good health, one of the participants said, I cannot be like a young girl. My parents will think that I'm not staying well in my marriage. Whilst the other one said, if I am thin, people might think I have AIDS, therefore they must see that I am not sick. The other one felt that as a woman, you must have some extra pecs and, and not look like a man. So this way, actually the views of the indigenous people, even though then uh, initially the indigenous people believed that to maintain a, a, a very thin body was a very healthy, healthy way of living because they were actually uh, uh, doing a lo lo lot of work. But in, after the, the influence with the, the colonization, this, way, they, this is how they were actually, they were actually saying. 
about self-image, one of them said, sometimes I feel sorry for obese people as they have a lot of problems like breathing, running, and eating. Some of the transport we use uh, don't treat obese people like living human, human beings, especially the taxi drivers. This was taken from a younger, a younger generation as compared to the older generation. I don't see any good reason of being fat as you don't look in shape. So the younger generations were actually more concerned about self-image and self-esteem, whilst the older generations were actually saying, no, I, I, I need those extra, extra, extra packs. As Prof said yesterday, men need meat, not bones. Causes of, of obesity, when they were asked, the older generations actually said, we don't eat the healthy food like our forefathers, and uh, they lived on fresh ve vegetables and fruits from the, the soil. So now as it is everybody goes to the market and they buy food and now they do, 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 they do not actually live healthily anymore. That's how they are actually, they, they, they view the causes of obesity amongst themselves. Lack of, of, sport, of sporting facilities for the little ones. And one of the, of the older ladies said, they come from school, they are lazy, they don't want to do anything, just sleep and eat. So, and then uh, as a form of, 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 of awareness in terms of, of obesity, these complications were actually uh, 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 discussed with, 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 the, with the people whereby they were actually told about idiopathic inter, inter, in, intracranial hypertension, which might lead to stroke, the cataracts, the coronary heart diseases, the, the cancers. And luckily enough, the, the Khoi and the Sen people, they, they are actually still up to this far, having very, a very low epidemic in terms of obesity-related re conditions. In conclusion, obesity is a global epidemic and it affects everybody. The, the diseases such as HIV and a, HIV AIDS has actually contributed to societal o, o, obesity because if you are of a thin body, everybody thinks and they think that you might, you might be having HIV. So pe, 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 people have actually re, resorted to being obese so as not to be asso associated as having HIV AIDS. Obesity-related conditions are now overlooked and have increased the death rate. Eating habits, inactivity are the leading causes of obesity globally. And I thank you.